everyone, this is Rita Luck for AJ Raven, and yeah, The Sims 4 has a new expansion pack coming up, and it's called Snowy Escape, and there have been rumors about uh, The Sims working on this expansion pack. If I remember correctly, Little Simsy on YouTube ended up leaking the screenshot of the world, and it looks like it uh, had this uh, residential area below, and then a vacation area on the top. And it's apparently Asian, uh, more specifically Japanese inspired. But yeah, the trailer is here. Let's watch. Of course, I'll end up pausing the trailer if I want to talk about something. But yeah, it's around like 1 minute 30 seconds long. Okay, yes, yeah, Snowy Escape. We have uh, our Sims uh, snowboarding. A whole lot of colors in the outfit. Oh, okay. I mean, the world, if this is the actual world, this looks amazing. And yeah, that looks very Japanese inspired. We have skiing, snowboarding. Oh, okay. We can do this with what? Toddlers? Or is that a child? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Snowy is. Yeah, the world looks amazing. Uh oh, okay. Okay, okay, Sims 4, I'm excited for this. I mean, after the disaster that was uh, Journey to Batu, as far as the fandom was concerned. Yep, yep, very Japanese inspired. You have sakura trees over here, uh, mountains. This is some sort of star. We have, uh, if you look here, we have these what, lamps, paper lamps, okay. Okay, we have walking trails. I like this curved bridge. The outfit, of course, we have to introduce kimonos. I mean, the world looks amazing. Now I'm interested what it's going, what it's going to deliver as far as the gameplay is concerned. Okay, so we have bars. Mm -hmm. We can hang out with friends. I guess you come to this area on a train. Bars are here too, but... Yeah, you can't drive cars in Sims 4, right? But you have mods for that, so that means that's good. Going down, down. Here, here, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, the kid is very happy about it. Chase your thrills. Okay. It's all snow. Oh. Okay, so I'm looking at the board again. It seems to have a whole lot of lights on it. Okay, let's, let's move forward. Mm -hmm. So of course you'll need to improve your sim skills in order for them to perform better. We have rock climbing, uh-huh. Not rock climbing, mountain climbing, whatever you want to call this. I like the girl's hair. Uh -huh. Oh, you can camp in snow. This, this is going to be so amazing. Yeah, I guess you can camp right at the top if you do manage to get on the top. And then we have houses. Again, very Japanese inspired. Very cozy. This looks like a residential lot because I feel that a whole lot of people are in the, uh, are in this uh, lot that aren't necessarily family members. Uh, they should be naked, but okay. Oh, again with the transitions. Yeah, kimonos, pictures, a fireplace. This looks new. With a bridge, I like the curved bridge. Bamboo forest! We're getting a bamboo forest! Oh! Instead. <laughs> a veil to pay your respect set. Mm -hmm. The same tower we saw before. Oh! Wait. Stalls. Okay. They might end up uh, holding fairs that you can attend. What's that? A Pokemon? Uh-huh. Yeah, a spirit of some sort. Yeah, builds. Bears, bears, bears. 
Yeah, it looks amazing. We have a koi pond over here. We have a stone garden over here. Uh-huh. Create your sanctuary. So I'm, yeah, I'm interested in knowing if we can also create vacation lots as well as residential lots. Can you live in this world? Uh, new items. We have, I think this is a new stove. Yeah, the fireplace is new. Oh, everyone can sit together around the hot pot. Play with life. Vending machines. Wait, did that Sims die? Where is it? Where's my cursor? Where was it? It he fell, but okay. November 13th. So this was only a reveal trailer. I am looking forward to seeing what this uh, expansion pack is going to deliver as far as gameplay is concerned. Let's go ahead and look at the blog post. At the point of recording this video, the reveal trailer has like, what, 43,000 likes against not even a thousand dislikes. That's good. That's something we haven't seen lately when it comes to the Sims fandom. Okay, so I have the blog post here. I'll leave a link to the blog post in the comment section below as well. So I hope you have uh, ski boots and cold weather gear. Da la 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 is sending the chill to uh, Japanese inspired. Okay, I was right. It's Japanese. Japanese inspired world of Mount Omorebi, where high energy source morphs and yada yada yada. Read in the fresh mountain air and start working this in rock climbing, skiing, snowboarding skills, tree skills. Level up your skill. Uh, okay, so that light up board is something that you end up unblocking. Children can ski and snowboard on less channeling, uh, challenging trails while parents take their toddlers. Toddlers can go sledding. Uh huh. Okay, cool down. Onsen bathhouse to solve your sense problems and injuries. Is there anything better than watching this game right now? Even the hiking tra uh, trails, just like this, we have got hiking trails, we have a bamboo forest, we can reflect at the graveyard, or we can visit the mountain temple. Uh -huh. So there's, uh, there's a couple of things that your sims can do. What about the gameplay? More about the gameplay, please. Rent one of okay, so you can rent one of the vacation lots or build your own home. So that means that you can actually live in this area. That's, that's cool because one of the one of the complaints that people had that you couldn't end up living at uh, in Batu, so it's good to see that EA is allowing you to live uh, in this uh, Japanese-inspired area. Uh, uh, we have shoji door style room, tatami mats, and the Japanese village. Add koi to your decorative fountains and start a rock garden. Yeah under the shade of Japanese maple trees, whatever makes you happy, la 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 la. Uh, November 13 is going to be released, you can pre-order it. There's also another blog post on the Sims website, Chase Your Trills. Test your Sims skills, again with the skills, sledding, find your zen. Yeah, you can unwind over hot pot around the Kotatsu table or socialize while hiking through your bamboo forests. Okay, so define your lifestyle. Unlock, you can unlock new personality and relationship effects with the introduction of lifestyles and sentiments. So this is new that we're introducing. Lifestyles uh, manifest in response to your sim's actions and habits. Okay, changing their behaviors appropriately. Similarly, uh, shared experiences inspire sentiments and have a lot. Oh, so you can share experiences with other people and that can play into sentiments. You know what? I'm looking forward to the gameplay trailer so that we can see how this uh, lifestyles and sentiments uh, thing actually impacts the actual game. Because even though a whole lot of this stuff is very cool to look at, the main concern that the fandom has is that uh, the base game itself, the Sims, uh, the Sims 4 gameplay, 
that's very lacking when it comes to offering you a game that's supposed to mimic real life. So hopefully lifestyles and sentiments might end up changing a bit of that. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this uh, trailer for the new expansion. But again, this is Sims. Uh, we have been burned before. So even though this does look very, very cool, I am still a bit cautious about the final product. It's EA, they might end up finding a way to even ruin this, but... In this video, I have to say that I was going through the trailer again, and you can actually see that uh, when you sit down at this table, your sims have actually taken off their shoes. So that's respectful of the Japanese culture that the sims is uh, incorporating in this game. So that's, that's cool to see. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.